have ever asked yourself, how good are the overdrive models in the Helix or the HXFX, this is the video for you. Because we're going to be looking at the drives that you can get in the HXFX. Some of our favorite drives, more specifically. Yeah, and by the way, welcome to Worst Tutorials. I'm Brian. I'm Bradford. Glad you're here today. Good and tog. <laughs> and uh, this is a, actually an HXFX and a Helix patch that you can download at Worship Tutorials. So if you want to get this and all of the overdrives and the one distortion that comes with it, hit the link below, head to Worship Tutorials, you can grab this and start using it immediately. So we're not gonna look at every drive or distortion we in, ain't got time in the Helix, nor are we gonna tweak them at all because what this patch is, um, is a set of drives that we have set up specifically to get sounds that you hear a lot in modern praise and worship music. This is a Gretsch ProJet uh, Electromatic. It's the cheap one. I think these things are like $399 brand new and it's completely stock. I bought it used for a lot less. Uh, so we're just, you know, we're not gonna use a really high-end expensive guitar. We are running this into the uh, HXFX and that goes into the Kemper profiling amplifier and we're running a profile of a Jackson Scarlet. From Sailor Sounds. Yeah, Sailor Sounds in the British pack. Go check that out if you have a Kemper. It sounds awesome. So it's a Vox AC uh, style circuit. Now, the way we set our amps up, and a lot of people that play this kind of music do, so if you're gonna download this patch, we recommend it. Set the amp so that when you go to the bridge pickup, let's demonstrate what you hear. <laughs> That is our, quote, clean tone. Uh, and you might say, that clean tone is not clean. Well, that's true, but that's how we like to run the amps. It is to get the broken-ish. Yeah, so just like dig in on the bridge and get it, get it to start breaking up, and these overdrives are gonna be great, because we don't set these drives so that the gain is not up on any of these things. And not we, very high. We're yeah. pushing an amp that's about to break up to make the amp like really break up, which is how, you know, in my opinion, and overdrive sounds its best. Yeah, and that's how I love doing it too. So again, like we've said in other videos, these are like ingredients that we use when we make patches. Yep. This is kind of how we prefer to do that. So here's how we like how these sound. Yep, so we're just gonna go through and uh, let you hear them individually. Brad's just gonna play stuff. And uh, well, let's just say what you get, first of all. You get a uh, the EP booster, which is the kinky boost in the Helix HXFX. You get the Timmy model. You which get is the, a Tima. A Tima. You get the 808, which they call a Scream 808. You get the KWB drive, which is a sort of, well, it's not really a Line 6 original. KWB is an overdrive that was designed by Ben Adrian, who works at Line 6, who also uh, built the Cartographer. And, oh, he designed the... Uh, Adriatic Delay. The Adriatic Delay is his. Adrian, Ben Adrian, Adriatic. But one of the other amps, the one you like, the double-ish one. The Litigator. He sort of, that's his brainchild, too. Uh, so it's like very nice, Ben. If you're watching, yeah, dude, awesome. Work. Friend of me on Facebook. The Minotaur Clon circuit and the Compulsive Drive, which is an OCD by Full Tone. So, Brad will play, and we'll, I'll just start turning them on and off. How about that? I love it. <laughs> There they all are. Perfect time. <laughs> um, so you can hear they all sound a little bit different and they're all pretty low gain. So uh, the fun starts, I guess, when you start stacking them. Stacks for days. Yeah, so if uh, you want to look at the signal flow, um, the first thing in the chain, so like overdrives will react differently depending on what's going into what. And it's the, all based on preference. The clon, and you can change this pretty easily. If, if you go into this patch, you just move whatever around that you want. For the Klon is first, then the KWB, then the, the EP booster, the Kinky Boost, then the Timmy, then the Tube Screamer. And the reason I like a Tube Screamer at the end is because the Tube Screamer really does a good job of shaping. It does this to the EQ curve. The, the mid range goes 
really forward in a mix, which is what makes your guitar like just sit in a mix perfect. And uh, it rolls off a lot of low and high end, so uh, it's probably the most like son has the most sonic signature of any of these overdrives. Yeah, I'd say so. And then um, well, the OCD. And the OCD is at the end. Next. You know, if you want a lead tone, if you turn on the OCD and push it with any of these other. Uh, pedals sounds really good. Brad's gonna play, and it, you know we're not gonna hear every single combination. That would take a while. Uh, my recommendation: is get this patch and play with it. See what you can come up with. But we'll demonstrate a little bit. <laughs> Times when you keep adding more and more gain, stuff starts sounding a lot the same. That's yeah. just kind of how it goes. And with it starts gain. squishing. And everything gets more compressed. Overdrive and gain adds compression. Yeah, so, you know, if you. Compression turn, adds compression. Compression adds compression. Uh, we don't actually have any compression on. No. At the I, moment. I feel naked. I love using a compressor. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so if you turn all of these on, it's just going to sound like mud. Don't do that. Uh, I want to do that. Okay, let's turn them all on. <laughs> So we turned them all on. It didn't sound great, in my opinion. <laughs> Don't do that. I would stack maybe three of them at the most. That's how you get the the. That's how you get the old spider tone. Oh yeah, the line six <laughs> spider tone. And that just sounded like that when you turned it on. <laughs> I don't think somebody's gonna buy an HX effects and think to themselves, I'm gonna use this pedal to have six overdrives on my board. And I don't think many people are I don't think overdrives are on people's radar that much for line six, but they yeah, sound good. They they definitely have kicked it up a notch. They, Man, sound, they, pretty good. they sound really good. Mm -hmm. Um and so like I said earlier, this is available as an HX effects patch and as a Helix patch. So if you're a Helix user and you want like I just want a database of overdrives. Uh, that I can have, you know, like a drives patch and you can just grab them from that patch and put them in other patches. That'll work. I'll show you how to do that. If copy and paste. Copy and paste. So like, hey, I like that KWB a lot. So you hit action, copy, go to mode, go to uh, a brand new preset, and oops, and then, you know, touch one of the foot switches, action, paste. There you go. Now you got that KWB that you really like and then it's you can that start. easy adding stuff to it. We think of these sort of as building blocks kind of patches that you can use. Uh, and we have uh, a delays patch, we have a reverbs patch, ambient verbs, we have drives, we have modulation. We have a delay and verbs. Delay and verbs. So I think a lot of people might be looking at HX effects to replace delay and reverb on their board mm -hmm. and keep, you know, keep their overdrives. And so we have a patch that's specific, just delay and reverbs. Um, so yeah. Uh, Hopefully this this video has opened your eyes to how good the uh, the overdrives are in the Helix in the HX effects. I've been using Helix forever, so I use, and I don't use external pedals with it. So I already knew how good they were, but now you do. Too. Now you do too. Or maybe you think that they sound terrible. Let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'm nervous. Thank you so much for watching. Again, link below. Go to WarsTutorials.com. Get this patch. Get the other patches. Build awesome patches. Make Collect all five. <laughs> make great sounds. I don't know whatever you want to do with this thing. Bye-bye. <laughs>